Hello YouTube and Mr. Fox, welcome back um, to my YouTube, I guess. Uh, I've been away a while, I've been busy, hard working on uh, my exams, my academic progress, um, and Call of Duty gameplays were a much um, requested type of video, so I thought I would... Uh, have a go at recording a gameplay and just see what feedback I get, see what you, if you guys like it, if you'd like me to do more, let me know. So with Call of Duty I try to use the weapons that not everyone uses just because I get bored of being killed by the AK-74U or the Famous and um, it really really starts to wind me up so I try to use the um, the unobvious weapons, as it were, and this game actually turned out quite well with the MPL. So the the idea was to try and avoid the long distances because you're actually at a slight disadvantage with this gun. Albeit this gun is actually better than most submachine guns for long distances. So right now I'm working on Husky. Um, we're in pre-production at the moment. Um, shooting begins on the 16th. It's actually going to be quite a long shoot. Several, um, quite a few days of filming. I think about eight days of filming. And you're going to be seeing behind-the-scenes videos. You're going to be seeing new tutorials. Um, there'll be a couple more this week. Uh, promise. And hopefully this summer I will get the chance to work on the Encore Training series because Husky is a much bigger scale production. The plan is to. Um, produce a DVD of it um, and to sell it to all those that would like to buy a copy. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in, uh, in the description when it becomes available and also let you know where it's going to be screening because it will be premiering in um, festivals um, as opposed to most of my films premiere online and then go to festivals. Um, but that's the plan anyway. So the t sort of tutorials, I'm going to be covering some software tutorials. Now that basically means how to do stuff with software. Not necessarily how to create stuff, but more how to use the software. Um, so there's going to be a balance of them, and also videos um, such as... Such as how to create cool stuff using, um, for instance, After Effects. Um, let me know the kind of effects you want. I've got a tutorial recording um, later today, I'm going to be recording one, uh, that will be online soon, um, but I thought I'd get this video done, see the response, and, and let me know, like I said, if you want to see more Call of Duty gameplay, um, and they will become more relevant to Call of Duty, I'm just sort of using this as a blog exercise as well, um, I figured more people may watch it and listen to what I'm saying, but yeah, Husky's going well, um, like I said, we're in prep. You sh the plan release is end of August. August, so long as filming goes well and all the filming dates um, stay what they are. In this game, no one actually tried to shoot down my chopper gunner. Instead, everyone just sort of stayed indoors, which makes it quite hard to um, to kill people. I guess is the objective of the game, team deathmatch. Using the MPL, I believe I'm using Marathon. I think I'm using Hacker. I like Hacker. I generally have Hacker on everything. Obviously, now I'm using the MP5K. Um, I think there's too much of a phobia of picking up other people's weapons. If you run low, you better be picking up someone else's weapon, or else you're just dying needlessly. And the point of Team Deathmatch, like the actual po point, is to get a high KD. Like, that is the point. Loads of people go on to uh, headquarters on domination. They're not really fussed about winning. Instead, they just go on and they just uh, they just try and rack up KDs. But th no, that's the point of Team Deathmatch. If you want to do that, go and play uh, Team Deathmatch because that is. The point. I think this game turned out really well in the sense that I didn't die very often, I got quite a nice KD. The team, the opposite team, they had a few high level players. Um, my final KD works at about 33 to 6 I think. Um, if you're watching now, at this point you're thinking, what? Because I'm on about 30 kills already, I mean, I may 
if you see it, we're only on 4,200 as a team, and I've got 3,000 of that, you'd be right in thinking that I suck. In fact, I might not even put the last few minutes in, because what happens? So I, I get a nice little kill streak, then I get killed, and then it all just sort of goes downhill from there. I think, in some ways, that's a good thing about this game. Most people only seem to post the gameplay commentaries where they just kick ass and it's not really a true reflection of their ability and their consistency online. Whereas this pretty much sums up my um, I think I react well in some situations but elsewhere I do um, falter a little. I know I'm using the uh, I was using the AK-74U there um, and again yeah, I have no. Well, he was just picking up someone else's gun. I've run out of ammo on my MPL, so um, it's down to this gun to uh, cover it for me. In these sort of situations, you're not really sure how many enemies they've got, and the best way to react. I, I tried to uh, keep my cool. I think it's the best thing you can do. But for me, the most frustrating thing about Call of Duty is when you're trying to play a team objective-based game. Uh, there's my first death first death and then start to rack them up. I think they end up on a death streak. It's not very nice. Um, I just sort of lose it. The most frustrating thing is objective gameplays um, and game types such as Sabotage which end out with uh, most of your team actually not playing the objective which is insanely frustrating. I also want to apologise about the uh, quality of the video. I don't have a uh, capture card. This is running through a video camera, which you can probably notice. But it's watchable, it's visible, you can actually see what's happening. I've tried to balance out the colours in uh, Premiere. So, like I said, if you want to see more of these, comment below. I actually have interesting things to talk about. This was more of a blog update. Let me know what guns you want me to use, what game types. Some people, I think, make videos as an artistic expression. I think that's where I kind of differ to a lot of people on YouTube. In the sense that, although obviously my films have a level of artistic merit to them maybe. The focus is on the story. I'm more of a storyteller. Right? I've never really thought of myself as a completely artistic person. Um, I've always thought of myself as a storyteller, which is what I try to convey. I like to try and tell a story in my short films. But that's the end of the gameplay. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you want more. And I'll be back soon with tutorials this week, next week, and some more gameplay commentaries with actually something to talk about next time. But let me know if you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys soon. Dan. What about the castle?